After the intermission here, we'll get rolling here with the USA East program, the Purple Productions part of the program here. We will start off with the 2-6 trucks here. The diesel trucks will get us rolling here for our afternoon session here. They have reworked the track. Uh, looks like the 50-50 girls are going strong down there. We're going to be given a pocket full of cash. All right, here we go. 2-6 diesel four-wheel drives are being brought to you by Fox Construction. Fox Construction can fill all your needs for commercial dump truck service, backhoe work, site preparation, and land clearing. Fox Construction also does water and brine hauling for gas and oil wells in case you want to produce your own energy. So thanks to Fox Construction for sponsoring our 2-6 diesel truck class here this afternoon. Now, Josh, six trucks. I think we had about 20 of them signed in for competition, and it came down a couple trucks out of the state of Ohio. Boy, they put on a show. Yeah, those, those Chevrolet Duramax machines are very tough to compete with, and they showed that again yesterday. And they're here again this afternoon, ready to put it down another monster pass. We have 16 trucks here this afternoon. I think a few withdrew after maybe some damage and different things, but still a great division yet to go here with the 2.6 Pro Street Division. And weighing in at 8,000 pounds, you mentioned that 2.6 Turbocharger Smoothbore and DOT tires are what they're limited to. So when it's all said and done, what are we looking for for about horsepower on these 2.6 trucks? You know, that would be a better question for some of these guys that pull in it, but they're making some serious horsepower, definitely well over a thousand horsepower as they come down the track, probably closer to the 15, 2000 mark as they come down the track in that single turbocharger. Sounds about right. Now we got a nice mix of pullers here for this class. We've got some, like we say, the traveling pros that run here with the USA East Mobile Productions crew. They come out of Ohio, Pennsylvania. We also have some competitors here from the state of New York that have decided to throw their hat in the ring and see how they do against the traveling pros here this afternoon. Yeah, and those local guys, they have put on quite a show as well. They've held their own for sure. And, uh, you know, maybe it's some of that home field advantage, if you will. They know this area, know this surface uh, better than some of us. As some of these guys, this is their first time ever in Langford. Uh, full, full production crew. What do we have for officials down on the track here this afternoon? So, down at the finish line side, we got Dan Messenger, East Finish Flagman, Ty Cobb up in front at the starting line. And uh, some of the other officials will trade out throughout the afternoon. We've got Jackie Kamenz as well as Wayne Butts. I know he was pretty busy uh, making sure that he got final checks done on some of the tech jobs. Uh, but quite a few people all around and we even have quite a few volunteers from the, from the fire department. I think, I think even Buck Better's back there doing um, job art checks here this afternoon. Yeah, we see Wayne down there at the start line area. He is the uh, competition director. He's kind of the oversight of everything that goes on here on the track here this weekend. And, you fans here in Western New York, uh, Wayne's been a staple here uh, down from uh, Cuba, New York, and uh, used to promote a pull down there for many, many years. I know a lot of you fans have been down there. And, uh, of course and this is Matt Deal out of New Galway, Pennsylvania, driving a 1996 Dodge Cummins, uh, working on new truck in the division here this season, coming on strong already. He will be our test puller. All right, here we go, fans. 8,000 pound, 26 diesel truck class here this afternoon. They call it the Pro Street Diesel Class. They are going to put on a show. First up, we got the Dodge. Test puller, he'll be the only one in the class to have the option to take her turn down his run. And he looks like he's just about ready to go. Spotted that sled left of center. Ready to go here this afternoon. Not allowed. They'll run the D 
GOP tires, but no duallys in this plan. Yeah, one time they did permit that, and then uh, that was before they went to the smoothboard turbos, and then they kind of wanted to streamline everything and make it the same rules as they would have had nationally. So yeah, the dual dual reel tires had to uh, go by the wayside for anybody to change over. And that makes for an interesting class because they've all kind of got that same footprint trying to find that traction down the track. Yeah, no doubt about it. As you see that truck sitting down there at the end of the track, as you'll notice, the spread on the wheels. You'll see the front tires going over, uh, talking over with our competition director, our sled operator. They'll all discuss it, whether or not they think that sled is set perfectly. And if they do, we will be underway. So we get the uh, Mr. Deal is happy with his run, so he will take it. And we'll go with the lead, right? We'll put lead in the sled. There we go. That, that sounds better. Lead in the sled, lead on the track. Lead on the track, and look what we got rolling out. Fans, old school four here. And boy, back in the day, how popular that style of truck was. Wow. Good to see it out on the bullet track. Yeah, this truck comes to us from Milton, Pennsylvania. Noah Hostetler driving the Ford Power Stroke Blue Bayou. And just about every stroke expert. And they're also sponsored at this time. Guess more, more of guys Mills, the Ford Power Stroke experts. Even. Do we have any Ford fans here this afternoon? Come on, F-O-R-D. from this angle, Dan, to see how far down did he get to that lead cone. Came up about, oh, nine or 10 feet short, but still a great run early on in the division. Now, fans, remember in pulling, we measured to the front of the sled, not actually the pulling vehicle, but we we'll measure to the front of that general tire weight transfer machine. Sometimes they don't show you that notebook they carry around. They got that thick notebook that, you know, nobody can read but them. Now, all kinds of notes, different tracks throughout the country where they go. And of course, Logan's been here for quite a few years now doing this event here in Langford, so he's got, you know, the knowledge. Uh, what he's the director, driving the 03 Dodge, the protege. Yeah, a truck we don't often see, not necessarily one that travels on the circuit with us. Six, 321 and 6 goes into the number 2 spot with that run. Uh, USAD sled pulling for 35 straight years. San Diego Lubricants best in the business for keeping your vehicle in tip-top shape, whether it be your everyday driver, your farm equipment, logging equipment, over-the-road truck, or your high horsepower pulling vehicle. San Diego Lubricants best in the business for keeping your vehicles perfect working order. Find your local San Diego dealer on their website, San Diego East Sled Boys, for 35 straight years. So we got another truck from here in New York. This is Jason Tober. Uh, All right, fans, here we go. Always hustling from right here in New York. Short here. 
here this afternoon. Fans, let's give a nice round of applause here to Ryder, New York, Jason Covert. 298.58, 298.58. You mentioned coming up just a little bit short here. Good, how you doing? We made it back down here on the side of the track. Well, that's fantastic, and now uh, we missed you yesterday. We're glad you're joining us here this afternoon. Yep, I was announcing in Little Valley last night at a semi cold there for full full productions, and uh, I sure missed being here. I got here about 11 o'clock last night. You guys were still working, but I decided to uh, stay down here on the track. All right, that's a good question. Have you had the wings yet? <laughs> uh, me and Missy are waiting to go. We talked them up last night. Now, you weren't here, but, you know, you, uh, you re highly recommend them, so we were making sure we plugged them all night long. We even gave you credit for it, Ed. So you were here in spirit, even if you weren't here physically. I heard you down there in Little Valley. All right, so this truck, multi-time champion in the class, GM fans, Get behind them, one to watch. Let me hear from your GM fans. Different sound out of that one, fans. It looks like we may have ourselves a new leader. Yes, indeed. By about six feet, Ed McCall takes the DeFrank truck. 332 and six. 332 and six. Your new lead. You know that, yeah. And Dan came here all the way from Indiana for these chicken wings. I'm going to try to smuggle some on the plane tonight. See if that works. All right. All right, take it. We can negotiate with chicken wings. <laughs> All right, coming up next, talk about local cooler from right here in Boston, New York. The little tight like jeans. This second generation dog. It still plays a role. Here we go, tight fit jeans. So the 
Mighty Max here in Dundee, New York, down there in the Finger Lakes. Makes a nice run here this afternoon. Luke Souter, 2006 GMC. 304 and 3, 304.33 for Luke Sauter and Mighty Max. It's going to take 315 to even break into the top five here. Oh, come on. Fans, let them know. Come on, make some noise. I bet they can't hit you in the face, man. I bet you can. They're done. Right on the line is Michael Serrata out of Holland, New York. Black Top. The 98 Dodge Company. at the top as he goes 321.15, 321.15, that puts him into the number four spot. So to break into the top four, you're going to have to be beyond 300. Yeah, you know, they have to run those DOT tires. I don't know what Some competitors, they run the same tread pattern all the way around. Some run different tread patterns up front and first Palatine Bridge area where he's from, so now we know that. Yeah, yesterday you were saying, I don't even know where that is, so we got a little education here today. Yeah, just drive down the throughway, head towards Albany, and you'll eventually you'll get there. All right, here we go, the cyclone.
Texans gave it a good shot here this afternoon to Rich Myers. Let's give a nice round of applause. 06 GMC. It was 313.30, 313.30. I just mentioned to you, it's going to take 320 to break into the top group. So he's going to be into the number seven spot with that good run, Cyclone. These hot farms are bigger cubic inch, uh, hot farm tractors. So a lot of tractors that you did not see yesterday came up here this afternoon. And a few that stuck around, 94 Dodge, Matt Cole, out of Chappie, New York. That's about it. Swamps of Gowanda, New York. We've got the Swamp Thing. 
Exhibition run Swamp Thing, the 99 Dodge. And the results for you in the standings in just a moment. You down to the winner's circle, Brandon DeFrank. Oh, Ed McConnell, sorry. Brandon DeFrank's truck, Ed McConnell driving. So, Ed, if you can hear us, head on down to Ed. Ed McConnell, our winner here this afternoon, 26 Pro Street Eagle Truck Class. And we've got your plaque for you down there track side. Yep, so our top five in the division. Fifth place will go to Ron King and the Problem Child, 321 and 1. Steven Rector goes home with fourth place in the Protege, 321.6. Third place will go to Matt Beal, working on 326 even. And then second place, Ed McConnell with his cause and effect truck, 330.5. And he wins the class with the brand, the DeFrank and Son auto body truck, 332.61. Ed McConnell going home first and second with his two trucks here this afternoon. On the track, we will transition into our hot farm division. We started talking about it early on. Different class, different set of rules than what we saw yesterday afternoon in our hot farm division, or oftentimes we call it the USA East Southwood Pro Farm Division. Again, just to differentiate between these two. These tractors are limited to a much larger cubic inch, a 600 cubic inch limit, and a 3 inch in, 3 inch out turbocharger. So, kind of close to Farm. Our first competitor will be Adam Smith out of Aspen, Ohio, the Wild Town Express. Well, 
Looks like we added uh, one of those 2,000 pound blocks to our weight box here for this class. So looks like about uh, 38,000 it takes to stop these hot farms here this afternoon. And 313.28, 313.28, I know that lead comes off a little bit. We'll go from a rolling weight to a dragging weight once it gets over those rear tires and then onto the pan. The front operator can uh, operate when he wants that pan to drop. Now, at this point, it looks like around that 150 to 200 foot mark, you see the back of the pan drop. And of course, that's where the pulling really begins because underneath that pan are what are called browser or digger bars. And those are adjustable and those can dig into the track. And of course, as these vehicles, you know, over the years, everybody's making more horsepower. For these sled operators, they had to come up with ways to stop all this high horsepower, and that's one uh, of the ways they've done it. Michael Petrie out of Arcade, New York, jumping up here in the hot farm division, typically competing in our pro farm class. Yeah, Mike Petrie, one of the guys that's been around hot farms for many, many years here in western New York. Let's see how he matches up here against the traveling pros here this afternoon. Tractor all season long. Come down a few hundred miles into a hole and then realize uh, it didn't work. 
wait for the next one. So it, it takes some time to get that combination back up and uh, yeah. back on some of these vehicles. Yeah, and you mentioned it does get up to a concrete wall. I can just imagine with a special with that kind of power. Man, if this thing let go, you'd end up in a Warsaw. Yeah. Tractor. It was at one time a 73 International 1066. That's how he debuted it last year, however. In this class, Corey Bureau getting lucky. All right, come on, you international fans. Going to have to make some noise here. This deer still on top. Seventy point five one, two seventy point five one. 
27.6 miles an hour and the shearing.
Yeah, I got that uh, international five million tractor paint scheme on there, that white paint scheme. It, you see on so many of the uh, pulling vehicles uh, throughout the country. And, well, I'll tell you, they are sharp. I mean, you fans didn't have the opportunity. We strongly encourage you to head on over to the pit area after or during the poll. Personal, maybe get an autograph from your favorite puller. They'll be more than happy to talk with you. If you got any questions, you know, as far as you can over there and talk to them. They, you know, like I said, they like when the people come over and talk with them and get some pictures. Absolutely. You know, if International knew how popular that five million paint oh. scheme would have been, yep. they might have painted more that way, but beautiful design here. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, a scheme that uh, Rob Russell from Hot Farm Pro Farm Hugh David. Jeremy Meyer. Well, that is certainly not what he had in mind. It was totally unexpected for him. You could see. Like all of a sudden, man, something happened and let loose. How about a tough luck round of applause for Jeremy Byer? He was on a pass and then got shut down at 216.78. 216 and 78. Jeremy. So we've got one to go. Because, I mean, I'm sure you had a front row seat. He had it bent way over, and then all of a sudden, like, whoa! Yep, and I saw him going back and forth with the throttle as soon as he stopped, so I knew there was something going on with that. But Tough he break, because he, he was on a run. He had a great run going. Definitely, definitely he was. Jeff 
up, throw his hands up, and be very upset. That looks and sounds like a turbocharger. But the truck fire suit off. Tow tractor to the track, please. Tow vehicle to the track. All right, Josh, we're down here track side. Eric, come on over here. We've got Eric Smith. Came to my Adam Smith. Adam Smith. The mine is the first thing to go, and I miss it. No. Adam Smith came to us from Ashland, Ohio. Drove four hours to get here, and it certainly paid off. You come out on top tonight with about a distance of about, I think, 318 with the Wild Child Express in the Hot Farm class. So uh, I'd like to congratulate you, Adam, and here you go with your, your first place win plaque. And you want to say anything to our fans here at Langford? Yeah, I want to thank this poll. Uh, Rich for having this the hot form class and you guys showing up and ladies can't wait little bro is single ready to mingle so he's from West Salem, Ohio He runs a dating service on the side Adam great job. Thanks for coming to Langford Thanks again everybody for coming out and watching us. All right fans. Let's put our hands together for Adam Smith uh, 10th way comment you made earlier. They're traveling together here this afternoon, so have a little fun together. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ed's gonna bleed the fit. All right, number two in our class. Now we talked that you knew you talked about load the wagon here this afternoon. You know we got that. We make some serious horsepower, and you're right, it's been good for the class. Greg Graham, out of Pavilion, New York. The Sir Piper, Peterbilt.
whatever wires you crossed on that one. Good job. Yeah, that was good to see. Definitely uh, was putting it together a lot better this time. I'm sure we would have liked to get a little more distance, but it, it definitely sounded a lot better than it was doing last night. Yeah, and again, I think it's that uh, whole maybe for him trying to run freedom Pennsylvania with the 94 KW. Another Caterpillar motor underneath the hood. Cats seem to be dominant in the big rig series as they change color, match the blue of that truck. That's a signal to go on down the track. Big Honda's part in progress.
gentlemen back out here. Another exhibition run. Ed, this is the truck you were talking with us. This, is, this was your ride back Yeah, there. Ed, you were in the hot tub here. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. This is Ron Brogan. And Ron actually grew up right over in... Uh... Oh, good morning. Jacob Center. Yep, yep, and then he also, I believe he went to school in Sheldon, in that area, so uh, Ron spends his time now running, uh, this is not just a museum truck, this is actual working truck that he runs a lot of, he, he does, sets up uh, exhibitions and stuff like that, and show, shows and exhibitions, and he uh, runs back and forth to Las Vegas quite often, but fans, this truck is just an unbelievably beautiful truck inside. It's, it's all done up in buffalo hide. Imagine that for a buffalo. And, but Ron has a YouTube channel. He calls it Mafia on the Move. And he said he's encouraged everybody to uh, go on that YouTube channel and give him a like and subscribe to his channel. He's trying to build that channel. But that's called Mafia on the Move. So let's make some noise when Ron comes down the track with a Mafia on the Move truck. Now, Ed, you're going to jump in the hot tub here and make the run down the... All right, he's going to wait till the end. All right, here we go. Jeffries and the Bad Dog, and your winner this afternoon with a distance 330 feet and five, Nate August, and work in progress. We should give her a round of applause. She did a great job. Not only is she here doing this, she's also one of the Langford firefighters, so uh, she wears many hats and takes care of the lead cone all afternoon long. One of the many duties.
Jason and her. Tonight we've got Nate August from Freedom, Pennsylvania, correct? Freedom, Pennsylvania, and he is the winner tonight in our Big Rig Series class. So, Nate, we want to say congratulations. Come on over here. We're going to give you your plaque. Would you like to say anything to us for the fans tonight? Well, I'm just glad to be here. Uh, last time I pulled here, didn't have such good luck, so it's nice to redeem that. Yep, I watched you pull at Little Valley last night. You had a pretty decent run. But, uh, you, you managed to get ahead of Chris Jeffries tonight. You had a good run, so it, everything looked real good. So uh, we're glad you came to Langford, and I want to say congratulations. Great run in the Big Rake Pulling Series tonight. here this afternoon and looks like may take over the number two spot here no gonna be short they suddenly 306 and 97 306 97 well fans he can hear you now let's give old Clark a nice round of applause two good runs here with his two-wheel drive trucks we were talking to Irv uh, earlier one of the guys down here was talking to Irv and he says that he he put the you know he Went with a second pulling vehicle that it kind of leveled the trailer out. It makes it tow a lot better. It's not so heavy in one end. But I don't know, man. That's an expensive uh, weight block. I think it'd be cheaper to put a concrete block in there. But I'm glad he did because there's a, a real personable guy and a good competitor. So we're glad he's got a second vehicle now. Well, you figure, you know, the amount of miles you put on, you might as well have a, a second paycheck. So that's exactly what he did. Well, let's see if he can hold them off here this afternoon. It's two good runs here for Herb Clark. Currently leads the class with his original truck, the Taz Toy 49 Chevrolet at 321 and 84. 321 and 84, that's the lead distance cone there over on the grandstand side. T-shirts, everything else they went through last night. So that's good for us. That's good but for us, but the cold too bad. I'm, I'm still out of cover for a couple weeks here. All right, we have a new driver on this truck right here. A third generation driver. The Wilson family going to be cold.
as far as this last bit. You know, pretty much center, left to center out here, so. with his 19, I believe that's a 91 Chevy S10. Yes, he'll get out of the truck, check things over a little bit here, and then head back towards the start line area. I think he was on his way to the lead, but he got a little kind of back and forth action there as he went down the track, and that certainly cost him some distance. It kind of came that back towards the center and brought it back towards the right. And that movement of the sled certainly cost him some, some distance.
the winning distance. Dave Laskowski will finish up number two with his P&L trucking uh, machine at 317.60. And then rounding out our top three was Krista Wilson with her dirty money at 310 and 66. Well, man, let's give all our two-wheel drive competitors a nice round of applause. Great class, the competition. And on the bleachers over here, thank you very much for picking up your garbage. We've, great run, great run. we've never seen that bank look. Good friend, and uh, we're going to miss him. Fans, I think we all... Rex, we're thinking of you, and we're hoping you're having a good time up there, and party on. Okay, fans, we're trackside here with Irv Clark and his wife Kathy with the Taz Toy. They had a great run tonight. Certainly, Irv Clark is a fan favorite here at Langford, and uh, you know you go around the pits, and when they when somebody pullers are having trouble, who's the face there? Irv's always in there to help out with the, with the other pullers. So he's a great sportsman. Um, it couldn't happen to be, happen to a nicer guy tonight. So Irv, great job in the super modified two wheel drive truck class with the win tonight. Yeah, I'd like to thank the crowd here. I've pulled in Lankford for 24 years. Finally got one for you guys. Thanks for the fans. This is for the fans. Come on, Lankford, let's whoop it up. We want to show some appreciation. We got one happy camper here tonight. Irv, great job, and we want to see you back again. Thank you very much. Can't wait to be back next year and do it again. Roll out the bears tonight. Step over here just a second. The production portion will be our open streets diesel division. George Cooper out of Cole, New York, spun the top of the 01 side. Mad pulling pick. Got that mad pulling pick. 
back in, Lucky Fellow. Right? Now, hold on, Jeff Lucky, how many years in Langford? Uh, 24, 25, 30, boy. He started doing it when he was three. So, Jeff, you've got to be well over 40 years here at Langford, easily. Attention in the pit area, all unlimited diesel drivers. Good job on YouTube. So definitely if you enjoy watching pooling videos, check them out on YouTube. Fantastic. I'm gonna Watch have them all the time. A subscriber. You're not a subscriber. Alright, this is Maybe no point truck, a 2006 Dodge Ryan Osiris that on a helm in New York. Clearly driving. this sled setting tight for these street trucks as we don't know what we're going to get 267 and 2 267 and 2 hey friends are friends but don't mess with my chicken wings yeah all friends work no six chevrolet a procrastinator oh there we go set up there typically they go with the tire and the wheel but go a little bit against the grain Dual rear wheels, single cab, so kind of a unique combination for the procrastinator. Of course, Duramax power, you know, five Duramax. Right. Started putting that motor in Chevrolets and GMCs back in 01, and it's left it pretty much relatively the same, at least cubic inch wise, it's remained unchanged, 6.6 .6 liter. 403 cubic inches. We already saw the Duramaxes. They can run in these diesel divisions. Oh yeah. First thing he came in, he pulled in. He's like.
will be up next. you to listen. You know what's amazing is 
He looks like a twin brother to somebody I know. The winner of the 50-50 here for the night 10. And uh, thanks once again to all the 50-50 girls selling the tickets all weekend long, doing a great job. Fans, let's give all our 50-50 girls a nice round of applause. Stand together for them here today. Selling those tickets all weekend long and raising a lot of money here for the folks. The no one dodge coming back around. I hear that drinks are on Billy tonight. Side of the track on lane number two, we got Gary Hartloff with the. 